Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day four of isolation. I didn't sleep too well, but then ended up waking me up at like five o'clock in the morning. So tired. I should have worn a pair of earplugs. I don't know what I was thinking. Today, I kind of want to share some planning stuff. Um, I want to show you guys a way on how you can be productive, which is taking advantage of the time blocks in your calendar. I don't normally use the time blocks unless I have something specifically planned at a certain time. I kind of want to see if this way of like organizing my day works for me. So, I mean, we'll find out at the end of this video, but it's going to be very specific. It's like... Uh, breakfast at 9 a.m. If you feel at this time that you're not being productive enough, or maybe you're focusing on one thing, um, yeah, this could be a way to break up certain projects that you have going on and dedicating a specific amount of time to that task. One of the just rules to working from home is to not stay in your PJs all day, which I have to admit, I do that sometimes. By the end of the day, I feel like crap. Number one rule to working from home, change these. I want to start off the day, of course, with breakfast at 9. Actually, I want to use my stamps. I haven't had a chance to show this on my YouTube channel, but I bought um, a new set of stamps here, letter stamps. I've been looking for a set of letter stamps for a while now, but I just couldn't like get myself to buy some till I found these and I'll show you here in a second why I like these so much I'm looking for a bee here we go okay so the reason why I like these so much is because they are no that's actually a cue oh there we go okay so the reason why I like these stamps so much is because they're connectable. And that means that my words or my letters will be straight. Normally when you buy stamps that are not connectable, you just like stamp and then hope that they're in the same line. So at least with these, I have the option to have it straight or I could do it individually. Oh, holy, this, okay, I'll just do it like this. I want to have breakfast at 9 a.m. At 10 a.m., I want to shoot TikTok videos. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, I shoot a whole bunch of really short, just stationary videos. So if you like the shorter video formats, um, follow me on TikTok. I'm going to edit for a couple of hours, 3.30 to 4.30 to 5.30. Um, let's just do 6 p.m. We are gonna have dinner around six. At least start making dinner. Finish Big Magic and then go to bed. I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but I feel like I've sprinkled in a couple of different things. It's not like I'm spending an entire day of editing. That is my schedule for the day. So 
you back him. I'm a savage. Classic, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what was happening? What was happening? I'm a savage. surprisingly a really hard workout. I can't really smile because I have a charcoal facial mask. Um, it's actually by Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter is a company that focuses on clean ingredients in their products. Um, they test everything. I've been using it for the last few years and I absolutely love it. I've never had any problems. I was just recently in Vegas and my skin is so dry and I'm also starting to break out. This always comes to the rescue. <laughs> As you guys know, I organized my schedule by time, which I never do that. I'm just not one of those planners where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna have breakfast at 9 a.m. I'm gonna shoot videos at 10. I'd rather just have like a general idea of what I'm gonna do that day and then just do it. At noon, I thought my workout was gonna be an hour long and it ended up being two hours long. So that kind of bled into my lunch and cleaning. Um, I did start editing at 3.30, so that worked out, but still, for that split second where I felt uneasy or I could feel like the anxiety like coming in because I wasn't sticking to the schedule, I had to like tell myself, you know what, I made this schedule. It's not like I have a boss who's like watching over me. You need to stick to the schedule. I told myself that and just, you know what, it doesn't matter, like I created this just to try it out. Like I didn't even get a chance to finish Big Magic. I got a little distracted because David and I started watching Love Island after dinner. So I did get to read for a bit. Um, I just haven't finished the book, but I know it will happen. I literally have 100 pages left. Time blocking was just something that I wanted to try. Realistically, even if I didn't stick to the schedule, I felt productive. Like I'm just one of those planners, I, you know, I'm a to-do list kind of girl. I love checking things off. So I normally have a daily to-do list, a weekly to-do list. I definitely recommend trying this out, time blocking, and seeing if whether or not it works for you. If it does, great. My one piece of advice about planning, if you found a process, like that's your process. Uh, what may work for me may not work for you, but you know, that's, the fun of it, right? It's just trying to figure ourselves out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.